What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Things You Missed here on GameSpot.com, courtesy of Kind of Funny. I'm Nick. This is Greg. Hi. Greg, this is the final Batman v Superman. Finally. Time. This is like heartbreaking. They show us so this. much. Yeah, I want the movie. I know. March 25th, it's finally coming. We've been waiting forever. If you haven't seen me on the internet, I'm kind of a crazy Superman fanboy, so I've been freaking out about all these trailers, going through, analyzing them, and I've analyzed this one. Yeah. So I'm going to start it. Let's get into it. Uh, first things first, like Batwing, of course. Yay, hooray that. We finally get to see uh, the good old Jeremy Irons here running as Alfred. Right. Alfred Pennyworth, which we've been, we've heard about, right? But it's actually cool, and we've seen a little bit of it. But here we get a little bit more of the grizzled Alfred, the older Alfred, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, just from the j jump, what's interesting about it, right, is that, you know, I like the idea that, but, you know, I think usually when something happens with the Batwing, when, when Batman's about to do something super heroic, uh, he puts in an autopilot, right? Right. I like here the scene that, you know, okay, so he's going to go do it, so he passes control off to Alfred. Right. Here, pulls Who is seemingly sticks. in the Batcave or whatever there was. No, no, he's a, I'll, I'm going to line it all up for you in a second. Okay. Uh, he's definitely in the Batcave. Uh, this is him at the Batcomputer, of course. I'll, when I say I don't mean right now, I'm going to set it up for you. In a second later on. You're, you're committed for this whole trailer, by the way. Which, by the way, you should have watched before you started this. But you see, you know, what he's talking about here in terms of like, okay, the guys are over there, you know, two dozen dudes over here. I got this stuff. Now, what's interesting is this is uh, from an earlier trailer. Of course, we saw this when Batman comes in, and then remember how he shoots all this stuff right, up right, and blows right. stuff, and be like, "Is he shooting people? What's happening?" We assume there's some kind of rubber bullets or whatever, and that the SUV he blows up wouldn't kill somebody. Right. Moving on though. In here, we see the hostiles. You know, we're gonna put you in here. For me, this trailer is really about like, hey, if you haven't, didn't believe in this movie and you're a Batman fan, we're giving you the Batman trailer. This, of course. For me, this screams for a million different things. It's definitely true to the comics, and what it screams to me is the Jim Lee Batman. Of course, he looks short ears, bulky frame, like Jim Lee's Batman that I've known so well. But this stuff, is, you know, especially with the cape out like this, this glide in, it just screams of you know the Jim Lee art I always think of of uh, Batman from DC Universe Online when he's hunched low and stuff. And you know, there's been a million of him swooping and breaking through glass. Of right. Course. But there, we get to see it. Ben Affleck kicks some ass, though, of course. So here we go, a bunch of dudes all watching the door, right? Now, here's what I want you to do. This is going to sound dumb, but stick with me. Right. Remember that door. Right. Remember that exit sign. Gotta, Just remember. Got to remember it. Make a mental note for me, Nick. It's there. Thank you. Uh, he comes up the way you wouldn't expect Batman to, even though we would. But I, it, here, No, we wouldn't. And this is, my, this is one of the reasons why I like this trailer, is because yeah. we've seen in the last iteration of Batman, which is the Dark Knight trilogy, he kind of always comes from the angle we would expect, which is like, all right, there's two dudes. He's going to come from the ceiling. Great. Not the floor. He doesn't. He bursts through the floor in this, right. which to me made an impact. I was expecting him to drop down. He didn't, which I think is indicative that we're actually like at least someone on the Zack Snyder side is thinking, "Hey, let's let's give people a little something unexpected here." Yeah, no, hundred percent. Let's give the. I mean, honestly, this whole fight sequence we're going to go through, and a lot of the tools we're going to show you, or he's going to show us, remind me of the Batman Arkham Knight game, or right. Batman Arkham Knight, Batman Arkham video games, Batman Arkham Knight, Ar Arkham Asylum, etc. City. Uh, one thing to take note of, and I need your mental powers again, okay? Locked. You're looking at all these guns, right? Yep. They all look just regular old black guns, right? right. This happens here. This guns. goes here. Everybody jerks back and reacts here. Right. Look at that red thing on there. See that red light on there? Yeah. We just we just saw a whole bunch of guns and saw no red lights. But it's almost as if Batman's shooting up and doing something here. See, no red lights there. Right. And then all of a sudden, we got this dude here reacting as oh, if something was tossed on him. Something just hit his gun. Yeah, exactly. They, oh no, go back, go back one yeah. little frame. So we're seeing right there, there's actually something attached to his gun now on the right here. Yeah, yeah. See that? Exactly. That's the, you know, your little three-dimensional object And he's there. going up into the rafters. Right. Cool. So stick with that. Just remind, remember, Batman that's not going to come back for a long time in this trailer. But what we're going to get right now is Batman just beating the living tar out of these just people, which I love. Which love I love, 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 love. This is what we're talking about, you know. Uh, one thing with, you know, the Batman from the Batman video games, right? The Batman we know and love when we think about comic books is, yeah, yeah, a couple dozen guys, right? That's not going to stop him. He's not going to get in there. He's not going to have any trouble taking those guys out. And here we finally get to see that version of Batman unleashed, right? Right. I feel like you talked a little bit about it with, like, the Batman Begins stuff, right? That, like, that Bale's Batman was tough and awesome, right? But we still didn't see him come into these kind of odds. Yeah, we don't, we don't really, you never really got a sense, and you have to be honest with yourself, in the, in the, in the Dark Knight trilogy, that his Batman could actually physically jump into a group of men and beat the hell out of them, right? Right. And I, what I like about here is that we're seeing that momentum. Right. Where he's going from person to person and he's striking before the person, before you even know what's going on, it's right. done. That, yeah, yeah. That, that's already over. He's right? got the guy's that kinetic head force, is like, in the freaking ground already, as he rock right? bottoms this guy down here, um, right? And then like here's a great one too. If you go frame by frame, right? He's still got his grappling gun in his hand. Right. So he comes through. He knocks that dude loose, so he can hit this guy over here. So he can oh. come back, come at this guy, right? Uses the grapple gun to slam down the machine gun, and then land his punch on this dude. And that just knocks. You know what I mean? And just gets yeah. moving. And then this is the one part where I was like, all right, maybe it's a bit too much. Like, he's running at him here, and I feel like that throw was the only part where see, I seemed like that seems a bit too far. 
Maybe bring those 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 boards in a sec or whatever. Yeah, right? I don't know. But again, just like the video game, now we, these guys are like, all right, we're leveling up. Right. Two of these guys in we the got group some knives. is going to be here. Someone's going to have an you, electri right? electrified freaking Batman gun. right there concussing this man. Yeah. You know, he won't that kill guy's... people, but he's not afraid to put you in the hospital forever. Yeah, you're not it, walking on a breathing again, machine. Exactly, exactly. Taking this guy out now. What's interesting is that right there. Let's go back there. This is what I love, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. What we, we, when there's a uh, line coming up from Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne. Or Batman. To Alfred, right? Where he's like, I'm getting slow in my old age, right. right? And this is what he's got to be referencing. The fact that in the old days, nobody's ever touching him. But here, his cowl protects him from what would have been pretty much death. Right. Cut right across the back of the spinal column there. But see, that's why this is so important to me, right? It's because this Batman is using every tool at his disposal to defeat these guys. Sure. Right? The, the cowl is supposed to be bulletproof. It is supposed to be fire retardant. It is supposed to be basically like another sheet of armor that is on yeah. top of him. That also allows him to sort of glide through the air. We've seen all of those at this point. Right. We've also seen the fact that Batman is not a normal human being. He is a person who has trained his body. He is a tall human being. He can throw people. Look at this. He can strike someone through floor. Now, that guy's dead, by the way. There's no way. Ah, you're, it's all bossel wood. It's bossel wood. You're, you're not, you're not. He doesn't living. remember the first 16 years of his life, but he's alive. Yeah, he's fine. He, <laughs> he can't speak. He doesn't know what the letter A means anymore, but he's sure. fine. But no, that whole fight sequence, amazing. Now, here's here's where we're in the Batcave. Now, what's interesting and what's important to pull out, of course, is that earlier you were saying, theoretically, he's at the Bat computer in the Batcave. Mm -hmm. Down, right in the center there, we have we're the same that. display, the same Bat race. computer, uh, where Alfred was sitting controlling the Batwing. You have what you expect to be with a tarp draped over at the Batmobile. Right. Over to the right, we have the Jason Todd, you assume, Robin suit that we've seen so many freeze frame before with the mm -hmm. ha-ha jokes on you written on it. You can already see the green spray paint on it over right. there. So... You know, I for I remember when we first saw this, I was like, hmm, is this, th there's that, you know, manor, it, was it Wayne Manor, who knows, out in the middle of nowhere that it looked like you're walking up to, you're wondering how it's going to, we still don't, as for as much as I feel like we know about this movie, we still don't know how it all fits kind together, pulls together, which is yeah. exciting. But yeah, th this, I would say, is the full-blown Batcave for well, sure. Well, I also like this, that I also like the design of this, right? It's very industrial, it's very, very utilitarian, yeah. it's Modern. very, like when I saw it the first time, I was like, I I, I saw this in other trailers, yeah. you've seen the shot before in yeah, the yeah, trailers. Yeah. I thought it was a penthouse of some sort that had a cool water feature in front of it. Sure, but sure, now that you sure, actually sure, stop sure. and freeze it, I'm like, oh, it is. It is the Batcave. Yeah, that, yeah, makes, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But it's a very, very like utilitarian Batcave. A Frank Lloyd Wright Batcave. I'd like my house to look like that, personally. Sure. I'd also like Jeremy Irons to be my butler. I do, too. Uh, I, I feel, as piecing them together the best you can, because trailers jumble everything up, that this Jeremy Irons conversation isn't happening with Bruce in the room. Uh, as you go a little further, you get this shot of Bruce. I don't think this is happening concurrently. No, I, I think, think he's that. talking over the comm system. He gets sliced across the back or whatever, and he's like, I'm getting slow in my old age. And he's like, right. well, you've already lived long enough not to die young. Interesting, though, if you look in the background, there is what looks to be the armor suit that will be, right. become the right. you know, Superman armor that we see prevalently in the end of this trailer. That's cool. Right. Also, is he wearing a holster? That's what, or those suspenders. It, 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 yeah, I know. I know. I don't have an answer. I, I think it's it honestly, looks like a holster. You want to know what my professional opinion as Greg Miller, Superman fanboy number one yeah. is? I think it's going to be an apron. I think he's working on something. Oh, it's the smock and he's got that little that eyepiece sense. over it or whatever. But I mean, I like that this Alfred is, it has a little bit more of a, hit, a past to him, right? Like, sure. The first thing we saw him in in this trailer specifically was a very militant like sweater yeah. with the sort of army patches and, and, and the army fixings all over it. He's so. taking on more of that uh, Jeff Johns Batman year one deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it was like, you know, when they when ba Alfred was like, what, former British Secret yeah, Service. Yeah, yeah. And I love that. Badass. And I love that. Almost cursed in it. No big deal. Don't, you don't have to beep anything. Yeah. Thanks. There you go. Logo. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray, another great logo. Now, of course, here, this is we've talked about this a million times, so we won't dwell on it too much. You assume the destruction the, the destruction of Metropolis, because that's what we already knew. This this scene definitely when Superman is otter fighting. We're about right. to see that. I still want to know who this girl is. This I, I've never bothered to think about it too hard until I was watching this. But like, I'm trying to figure out what and please tell me in the comments what or on, on Twitter, what this crashing is. My, what I was taking away is probably, I guess, when uh uh, what is her name? Z Zora? Z Ziora? What's her name? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Kryptonian yeah. Zod's right-hand uh, woman. Yes. Feo, 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 Feo. Yeah. When she and Chris, when Maloney looks at her and goes, "You're right. A good death is its own reward." And the, and the bomb. And I guess that would be then. Uh, that's what, that's what I was in? thinking because the next shot is him fighting Zod, which which canonically happened. Like, sure. After I'm just saying the, when him when, when he was fighting was Zod, remember it wasn't like all this crap was shooting through the air. There'd be no reason for it on this this. I mean, like, think about the trajectory and how much of that stuff's coming in. Right. I'm putting it out there. Maybe this is new stuff from the movie, but I sincerely, sincerely, sincerely doubt it. And I'm sure the comments are going to let me know right away that, yeah, that's probably the Fiora thing or it's this, that, or the other. Because here we are. Still really want to know who this kid is. Is it just a rando? I don't think it is. Kevin's shaking his head. Yes. You think it's a rando? It might be a rando. 
here's my thing with being a rando. Here's, I guess, my thing. When, well, I guess we see it. I, mean, I don't know if we see it right away here. Yeah, they're fighting. Yeah, yeah. But when Bruce runs into the destruction, that'll show up later in this trailer that you've right. seen a million times. My whole thing is, what would he be running into? Just to do good, sure, he's Batman, he's Bruce Wayne, he wants to help people, but I think the kid is the motivating factor. I think he's going in to get the kid. And so then is that his kid? What are we dealing with here? We'll figure it out. March 25th, we'll know finally. Here we go, 1% chance, arguing. Uh, Again, this is something we've, I've talked about a million times, I think, (laughs) over the last two years. Right. A long time I was like, oh, when I first saw the screenshot, I was like, oh, he goes to some tribal thing, and da, 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 and then other people point out that they're like wearing watches and suits, and it's probably a Day of the Dead yeah, festival. Yeah, it's a Day of the Dead festival. Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry you knew so much about this uh, movie. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, you I'm know, sorry, you Zach gotta Snyder. leave California every once in a while and go to other countries to get a little more cultural. That's so if I'm I saying. leave California, I'll be in another country. Yeah. If you go south far enough. Oh, yeah. Made sense Shut to me, up, right, Kevin? Kevin? Geography. This year. Batmobile taking off. Right, no license it. plate. That's a problem. That's that's a, well, he's that's a ticket right, for there. That right that's there. That's a ticket right yeah, there. He's a he's a billionaire. He can afford it. This is the entire sequence that, of course, was ruined this by is football. Awesome though. Yeah, it's great sequence. I wish I didn't. I, it's the same thing as always. I just, we've seen too much of this movie. But I love this eye contact. I hope that's real. But who knows? But Batman being a terrible driver slams into him. No big deal. The soups in the Gotham City gas. Lex setting everything up. Uh, of course, when Lex is doing his thing over here, it's important to t- call out the flashing in the background there. That flashing light. Uh, if you've been keeping track of all the other trailers, there's that the one where they pull back and they're at ground zero, but there looks to be like the tent for like whatever circus is in town that's pulsating with energy and stuff. Mm-hmm. I would imagine yeah. that's this. And I imagine that's, of course, where they're bringing Doomsday to life by using Zod's body. Right. Just this that. is a great moment. Again, we've seen it a million times now. I'm very excited to see it in context. But yeah, that, there we go. They rise up. Batman doesn't back down. Remember how excited you were the first time we saw this and you're like, he just stands up. I remember you were all stoked about that. Yeah, it's dope. He stands up. It's dope. I'm Nick Scarpino. Let's still go do it. Let's, still go climb. Let's go climb stuff. Uh, Batman in the full armor we saw earlier. Taking a breath. The fight's going on. Uh, fight's going to be come down here in a second into some interesting stuff. Uh, Batman, I love this. Him getting shot through the roof. Yeah, that's you know what awesome. I mean? uh, yeah, this is awesome. The armor protecting, but not. Uh, my, my, hold on. Actually, I can disprove my own theory. Yeah, this is before Superman's weekend. Superman, obviously the trailer ends with a, you know, the blocked punch and Superman right. looking at it not. I think they sh- give away how it happens in this trailer mm, that I'm okay. going to show you in a second. All right. But uh, it looks like they go up here to uh, what would look to be where Superman or whoever, yeah, where Batman's moved the bat signal, right? You right. would imagine that's the bat signal they're casting light out. Do you feel like that's the shot, that's the other shot we saw from like that very, very first glimpse where he's standing there and Superman comes down into the rain? If we're, yeah, if we're connecting everything... I think this scene begins with the yeah, the, the, uh, Batman's next to that light. He's moved it to this part of destroyed Gotham. Right. This part of Gotham doesn't matter. You see over there. You see yeah. on the left a, board, a building that looks dilapidated. He's doing. He's basically you know what everybody out there gives Man of Steel so much trouble for. He's taken the fight to somewhere where no one can get hurt. Right. He's moved the symbol there. He's done that. And he's called out Superman. So I think we start up there. We get back to the floor. Then we get back up here. And then one of the things I'm talking about later on coming up will be important. So save that. Take another mental image Got of it. that. All right? Because we're going to have to put that together. You ready? Okay. Mental image taken? Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, every time you ask me to do that, it's pushing something else out. I just I want understand. you to know that. Well, you don't need to remember your anniversary. I love this very Clark Kent moment. Of course, we didn't get any of those, really, in Man of Steel because he didn't take on that persona until right. the end there. But you can tell he's about to take it off and go suit up. Uh, this is Bruce Wayne unveiling his car, of course, that... Uh, Another more Frank Lloyd Wright looking house out there. So beautiful. But this is the car that pulls up in that original trailer mm-hmm. with the violin music. You must, You're be, in. you must be new to Gotham. You don't know. That. Here we go. Clark and Lois happy. Lois Lane naked. Clark loves her so much, wants to get in there in his jeans and his t-shirt. I love it. His long sleeve t-shirt. This is good. They don't they don't dress Superman and Lois don't get to bang enough. And I like to imagine I like that this is a darker, more realer universe, as I always say. Right. The, the way to wrap your head around the DC cinematic universe, I always say, is that it is happening in our world. What if these gods came to our world right now? What if this all had to start happening? This is how it would play out. At least that's what they think. Right. You know, that's the, the, it's not the Marvel way. No. So I'm happy that they're... But I like this. This shows a very human moment with him, right? Exactly. This shows yeah. his character is, like, well, capable of, and... of a range of emotions. He's not just a Boy Scout that's out there fixing the world. Sure. He's, He's actually, fixing the you know, homestead, too. Well, you know. Well, that was the thing. Is like, I, I, I mean, uh, with Man of Steel, being a big Superman fan, I felt their relationship not... I thought it progressed a bit too quickly. When they just started making out at the end on Ground Zero and all the ashes and their people are they're breathing and they're dead friends. That was weird. But I just, that was the one thing of like, I got like how they were connected, but right. I, I didn't think it jumped to a romantic level as fast as it did. Here, this looks natural. This looks normal. She's telling them they need this. Of course, we've seen that. Right. Batarangs here. Now, remember when I told you to remember that exit sign? Mm-hmm. There you go. So we're back to the beginning. Yeah, well, we're back to Batman's first fight here. Right. But if you notice, they flipped the image. The exit sign's backwards there. So for some reason, in the trailer cutting department, 
They wanted to flip this to make it look more appealing to the eye, I guess. Oh, fast. But here we are again. Guns of uh, the guys. These are the guys again that suddenly have the red things on their guns. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that in one second. I told you to remember. Guy hanging over there. Batman kicking some butt. Batman throwing batarangs. Do we right? know what that symbol is on the left there? No, I looked into it, trying a little bit. You know, I threw around a bunch of different stuff. Like immediately, I started thinking about Omac, bizarre or not bizarre, Starro. Uh, but I think it's just a symbol. I don't know. Maybe okay. it will be a game. Something Maybe it will new. be something. But for me, it didn't jump out. Please, if it's in the comments and you know, let me know or tweet at me. But it's just right there, a triangle upside down with a circle in it. It didn't ring any bells for me. Like I said. Maybe. Like, I, Starro, no. Maybe. Kind right. of. No, but probably not. But that'd be cool. Omac, no, but probably not. But cool. You know, it is not, though. <laughs> Going forward, battering the thing. Gun cut up. Now, here we go. I've told you to take a lot of mental images. Yes. Do you know where we are right now? This is Superman being weakened, potentially. We are back up there. In right. the center of the screen, in the back, smoldering, if you look in the background. I'm, I'm saying that is the bat signal. Destroyed. I'm saying it's split. You can see the lower ring of it here. Okay. And that would have been the top over it. Hey, yep. everybody in the camera. Top over it, smashed through, and done. <laughs> now, when I first saw this, and Batman fires this, and Superman catches him, I'm like, oh, how rad. He caught, he caught the grapple gun. You know right. what I mean? Like, he's just trying to get him with the grapple gun. That's not the grappling gun. No. That is a little ball. You assume kryptonite gas, probably. I would something assume so, that, yeah. like, Superman's going to grab me, like, Poof, and then it's going to be, what? And then that's how he's weakened. That's how this fight can go. Like, I'm Batman. You didn't realize that, did you? <laughs> you didn't know him, Batman? He doesn't know. And that's the thing. That's what I like about this, though, is that you don't know how he's going to take him on, but it's not going to be a one to one fight. That's sure. what I like about this Batman. It's not a one to one fight. He's got advantages that you don't know of. Yeah. That's Batman to me. I'm excited to see. It. I can't wait for this movie. Uh, Bat- Batwing doing its thing here. Uh, Gal, good dot. Good dot. Good dot. Good dot. I, for a long time, I was saying Gal, good And right. then Tim was in here. He's like, no, she it's pronounces good-dot. the T. The T mm-hmm. is there. So good dot. I apologize to Miss Good dot. Uh, getting... She follows us. Does she? What a cool nice young lady. Right? Uh, well, you're, you've been around forever. I'm the Johnny Come Lately because now she's Wonder Woman and I'm in love. You know what I mean? But you you and Tim. Oh, I was in love with her since Fast and Furious. I was going to say, you've been waving this Fast and the Furious flag forever. Yeah. Here she is getting into a car that I was like, oh, kind of looks like it could be that Bruce Wayne car. It isn't, but it could be. It isn't, but it may be. You know what I mean? But more importantly, look at the dress. Look at the hand. Fancy red dress. Back, backless. I love it. Very stylish. Right. Here we're back to the fight, right? But uh, I also like that it has, the, it has sort of the... That's the great part about this—the the design of this movie—is it's got flares of her, her up and oh, sure. costume. Oh, sure. Yeah, right? you got a lot of gold. The going gold on there, right? uh, yeah. and the muted red. Yeah. Uh, but what I'm calling out with her is: remember that dress mental picture? Uh, here we go. Batman's. This is after the weakening. It looks like right. wherever they're fighting. Maybe this is the. Maybe this is the gas. Maybe that thing blows up in his face. He shoots out that thing over there. Could be the bat it, signal blown up again. That does look like the blown up bat signal. But we'll see. We all have to wait and see on that one. This, I'm going back to it being, this looked like the shot they'd shown when they did the brief flashback of Mm -hmm. Bruce's parents being murdered. Remember, Mm -hmm. the comedian from Watchmen walking with uh, little Bruce Wayne. And I I was trying to remember this and I meant to look it up. Kevin, you might have to do a quick Google here. Remind me again of who got announced as Martha Wayne. It was recent, which Mm -hmm. was weird because they had already shown Thomas Wayne forever ago. And then recently they were like, oh, now this person's Martha Wayne. I was like, oh, cool. But I forgot who. Kevin will have that information by the end of it. Uh, So I believe this is, yeah, Joe Chill. Ice in the parents back there. Right. More of the fight. Throwing a wicked roundhouse. I think this is still, this is after, I'm assuming he's, is after the weakening again, right? Where Superman's weakened, but he's not perfect, obviously. You know what I mean? That's right. why he's still got anything. Yeah. Blowing through here. Uh, this is again now when it all gets very interesting and convoluted to an extent, right? So this explosion, nothing new. We've seen this before. Right. We've seen, you know... This is the doomsday hitting, uh, we think, Wonder Woman's shield. Right? In the last... Yes, exactly. In the last trailer when that was all happening, that's what... I'm, I'm hypothesizing it isn't. I don't know... I, I can't... I can't give you exact... I don't know what this is, right? But on this frame, you look around, and it looks, again, like a deserted area. Right. Whereas I always thought we were based around that doomsday lightning Dr. Frankenstein structure I was mm-hmm. talking about before, mm-hmm. right? But that was right downtown. Kevin, who we got is Martha Wayne? Lauren Cohen? Lauren Cohen? Yeah. Laura Cohen. I forget who's that. Who is that? Is that, that's not Maggie from The Walking no, Dead, isn't it? that's Laura Cohen. It is? Yeah. I think it's Maggie from The Walking Dead, Martha. Is it? Yeah. Thank you. I think it was Laura Cohen. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's fine. You're okay. Um, but this one's, uh, the Frankenstein chamber I always talk about at Ground Zero was at Ground Zero, downtown Metropolis. This isn't downtown Metropolis, right? This is, uh, you look around, look, this looks like it's out at like some this kind of. This is down the sticks somewhere, This looks right? like some kind of rendering plant. You know what I mean? You look down here, you've got these things. It looks like there's an oil refinery, you know what right. I mean? And I don't know if this plays into the abandoned part that he took him to fight in. You know what I mean? And here's the thing, because I was saying before in the Batman fight there, it looked like it was abandoned, right? Batman lured him there at the bat signal, get him away from humanity, yeah. right? This goes on, and this is something I noticed for the first time here. This building over on the left of the, fr- or right of the frame, already effed up. Look at it. It's already got yeah. missing a, a piece. It's already, And this is looks like the original blast for the most part, obviously. So I'm wondering if this is actually 
maybe I took this in the wrong direction. Maybe this isn't the doomsday fight. This is some Batman, bat bomb to weaken Superman with red sunlight, maybe. You know you, what I mean? Maybe. Do you think the dilapidated area is the ground zero of the last fight? No, I don't. No, because so. no, the ground zero of the last fight is in Metropolis, and it's that one with Superman, I, I believe. Like oh, this. right, right. He's got the na- they have that awesome wall around him with all the names of the people who died. Right. So, I don't, I can't, I no longer feel confident knowing what this is in the movie. You know what I mean? I yeah. don't know if it's the Doomsday fight. It might be. Maybe the same thing. Maybe Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman took him over here. To have a one-on-one and not have to worry about anything. Or whatever. He's saving these these property managers a lot of money with his insurance claims. I'm sure it's all Wayne stuff. Uh, Of course. Now here, I I told you to remember uh, Gal's dress. Right. This is a different dress. So this is... She's she's going to another fancy occasion to see the one and only Bruce Wayne or whatever. I really, 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 really really, really hope... Really hope. They do the Justice League cartoon and make them a thing. Not not a thing, but there's like there needs to be a flirtation, right? I hope they make them a full-blown thing. You think so? I hope they get married and have a bunch of little babies. That would be amazing. Baby bats. Steve Trevor's all old and he's like... Because he's old, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because the World War I period flick. He's probably dead, actually. But, you know, I'm sure they'll find a way to make it. Because Chris Pine. Pine. But that's the World War I. Every time I say Chris Pine, I say Prime. Because you mean Chris Pratt. No, I don't. I mean, you want I, to say, I'm picturing him. Your brain wants to say Chris Pratt. Chris I think Pratt is the many, more fun of the many, two actors. Look but look Chris Pine is amazing as well. This is such a great line delivery, too. Wonder Woman's going to be so good, too. Everybody's sleeping on Wonder Woman. Right now, start acting like you care about Wonder Woman, everybody. Because when that movie comes out, you're going to care. Look at him smile. Ooh, I like this. I remember Wonder Woman. And then here we go. Now, see, here we are back in the battle. Now, now, the battle here, this is the one she's going in on She's going in on Doomsday. But if you look here, this structure over there, right? Again, Metally, I guess that could be a light thing too. I'm I'm trying to figure out is this where is that big red explosion? Right. Is that big red explosion setting this battle up, or is it part of the Superman Batman battle that we already know is in a dilapidated area? I think, I think area? it's got to be this battle because it looks like the entire area has been destroyed. Sure, but they do so many clever edits. You know what That's I mean? True. So I know. I know. We're jumping edits. around here. But I don't. That could that that metal scaffolding over there. I thought could be another part of the gas plant kind of thing. You know right. what I mean? Maybe I don't know. I'm excited not to know. And also, if it was an oil refinery, it would explain more of these fires that are just burning out of control for no reason. I like this jump move, though. God, I can't wait for this movie. Explosion. Who the hell knows? It's, it's, it's a car. It's, it's just in there as an explosion. Right. It's you just, assume the they, needed, they needed a beat. Now, here's where it gets interesting again. Amy Adams, underwater. Right. We know Aquaman's in this movie mm-hmm. in some capacity. Now, you might think, okay... What's going on? Why would she be underwater? And I would say, I don't have a good answer for you on why she's underwater. You know what I mean? Right. I do understand that there's maybe heat vision blasts happening behind her. Maybe it is just explosions, whatever. But I, she's in, I believe, I would need to dial it back. And luckily I can. And I will eventually. But I don't want to do it right now because it'll be hard to get to this spot. Sure. Is, I think this is the outfit she's wearing when she, she calls Lex Luthor a psychopath. Oh. I could be wrong. It's possible. Should I dial back? You, you want to dial it back? Hold on. I'm going to remember 144.05. Got it. Got it. Now, I'm going to dial, but you have to help me fill time. Because if we get off track here and i got to fill time, I can't do it you're all myself. Fine, you're fine. There never... it is. You're right. That was no, it. I don't know if I am, actually. I Look. think it is the, the pop collar. The problem is that's sort of for outfit of choice. For, I know. Yeah, the pop collar. You got a little vest. vest under there? Okay. okay. A little vest, a little pop collar. So then... Uh, okay. So here... Well, so let's okay. go back to 144. All right, all right, all right. So now, is, I want you to remember that whole outfit that she's yeah. arguing with Lex. And I want to, in a second, give you a pitch for how Aquaman gets introduced in this movie. Okay. Just a pitch. Could be ho- totally wrong. Who knows? So here she is. She's trying to swim out of this thing. Heat vision. Maybe maybe this is the release of Doomsday, right? Possible. And all hell breaks loose and or she's trying to get out. fighting underwater and she just got caught in it. No. The that, they would never fight underwater. Thing. But she also like lifts her hands there to block herself, it looks like. You know what I mean? Is she like blocking that? or is she swimming upward? I, don't, I mean, I thought she was swimming for a while. Well, you, you bullets, also have yeah, bullets, bullets going through the water. Through right, 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 right. So she's freaking She's out. blocking from something. Uh, she's that's a block right there. I don't think that's yeah. A no, I think that's, she's just, I think she's reacting to the bullets that were coming. Around. I think people are shooting at Doomsday or Superman or whoever they're fighting. But I'll get to that in a second. Okay, keep okay. this mental image. Do okay. it. Mental lock. Thank you very Locked. much. Wait, can I let go of some of the other ones? No. Sure. Let go of the dress from Wonder Woman. You don't need it anymore. Done. Thank you. Now here's something very interesting. In fast motion, what I thought I was seeing is Batman up above, as Batman should be, and then all these morons shooting the whole Batman came out of. But after extensive study of this, because I am Greg Miller and I love DC Comics. I'm making the hypothesis that they are once again borrowing from the Arkham universe. Mm-hmm. And what happened is Batman shot through the thing, threw those things out that must be some kind of magnets that attach to the guns. And then up here, in his left hand, his right hand has the grappling the gun. Grapple gun. Left hand, he sets off a sonic pulse that if you watch these guns, they're not shooting, they're exploding. Right. So he's, he, just like in Arkham, he's like pegged all the guns and he's now disabling so he can get down there and just F these fools up with his fists. Which kick. makes sense. 
if you were going to take on 10 people with guns. Right, exactly. You would yeah, have yeah. to immobilize the guns, and then the rest of it's just child And you can see, I mean, for sure the guns are exploding, and I I, I assume they're from the little red things right. that Batman But we're see. also not seeing those two back, oh, I guess they are No, too. they go off one by one. Yeah, see, it's like do. a chain effect, just yeah, like in the go. Arkham games. That's awesome. Very cool. Hope you got a cut rock steady. There you go, punching. Uh, this is... The, uh, back to Metropolis. This is that jet that gets knocked out in front of Perry, uh, Jenny, and right. what Ron was in it or whatever, the guy from Dawn of the Dead. Uh, where it goes off and then the jet flies in there. And you, you assume Bruce Wayne in this car driving down to Ground Zero to save that girl. I'm going to pitch, but who knows? Maybe not. Maybe he's right. just going there to run into a cloud of smoke. Uh, flying over Gotham in the Batwing, we assume. Batman banking left. Batman shooting some stuff. Doing right. his thing. Maybe a clever clip. Maybe he is shooting Superman. He's probably going to shoot Superman with the Batwing at some I'm point. I'm sure someone's going to shoot Superman. A lot of Superman. shooting here. Again, this makes me think that... Again, I think... So here's what's happening. I think this is still the abandoned city battle with Batman. And Batman has laid this entire thing out as a giant trap. Mm -hmm. Lures him there, and then he's got the smoke bomb, and then he's got the guns, and he's just got turrets, and he's just like, I'm lighting this kid up. Right, this guy doesn't stand him. a chance. Right. Probably none of this is hurting him. Here's Martha Wayne, of course. Diane Lane uh, looks like after the destruction of her Smallville home, she is a waitress. Again, you know, clever cuts, but it does look like she'd be wearing it. She's wearing an apron there. You know what I mean? She's working in the Smallville Martha, diner. Martha now, Kent? What did I say? Wayne. I apologize. Yes, Martha Kent, of there course. Like, Martha minute. Wayne, very dead. And as we discovered, Laura Cohen. Not dead. From Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Spoilers for The Walking oh, Dead. Whatever. Lauren Cohen from The Walking Dead. I just found out that she... I just remembered that two seconds ago. I'm Maggie from The Walking Dead. All right, yeah. Back. Lay off my back. I, I, I claim to be the expert at the Superman, not at The, the Walking Dead. You Even actually, I you actually claim to be an expert on The Walking Dead as well. I do, actually, everybody. Yeah, I like it. Can you believe crazy. Negan's it's, coming this season? Uh, I can't believe it! Right. Oh, oh, my God! I love right, it! What a time to be here. alive! Martha Kent. Martha Kent. I'm assuming there's a TV in the background. And they're like, in other news, Superman's dead. And she's like, what? <laughs> and she drops it. Can you, can you make that sound effect to her one more time? Sure. Ready? It, Superman's dead. Oh! That was really good. Really good. Yeah. Bad Lang. So good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Fighting. They, he's been weakened, but he survived, and now right. they're there. All right. Now, here's where everybody needs to put on their tinfoil Greg Miller DC Comics hat. Right. We already saw this a long time ago. This is the Zod body being wheeled towards Lex Luthor, right? Where right. he's going to make like, Doomsday. Give it, to me, give it to me. And he's going to make Doomsday uh, in this little chamber. He Clearly, he's got guards. He's got a little laboratory. Maybe right. it's the laboratory that gets all lightning, lightningified there at the end or whatever. Ooh, who knows on that one? But here's what I'm proposing. That this Lex Luthor is very much like Smallville Lex Luthor. And I won't mm. get too far into it. But if okay. you remember, I believe it was level... Kevin, I need you to Google this for me, too. Should have done this one, too. Google from Smallville, level 33, level 33 and a third, level 33.1, I forget what it was. Do level 33 for Smallville. What it was is the Smallville Lex Luthor started taking all the people with powers and putting them on this thing and researching them and doing all this stuff. What I'm hypothesizing is, Lex has got this new thing here, he's got his new little laboratory, brings in the body, does all the research to it, starts making Doomsday, but he also has other metahumans, what is it? 33.1. 33.1, I was right there on the last one. 33.1. And he's doing all this work, but he's also been collecting other metahumans like this. And so somewhere in here, in this thing, he's got Aquaman captive. You think so? And so that then, when all hell breaks loose, Doomsday, they wake him up, he turns out to be a monster, and he's like lightning beam and everybody, everybody's like, ah, everybody's running away. You know, Lois gets knocked off of, she's there, obviously, because he did the whole, like, you don't understand, like, little minds right. thing. So he's with her. He goes, that takes her downstairs, or up, maybe upstairs, lightning bolt, reactivates the corpse or whatever, or the clone or whatever it's going to end up being. Then she tumbles off of wherever they are into the water. Go, bullets are going off, da 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 and that's Jason's big moment to swim through there. You don't think he was Aquaman, save her, jump out. He's like, who are you? And he's like, I'm a fish. I'm Aquaman. I, she was, oh, uh, <laughs> I was thinking more like the cage would break that they're holding him in, like the water tank would break, and he would just like... Flip flap over to the water and dive in, and that's the last we see of him. Oh, that's true, too. He's like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, it. That's God. possible. But I like your way better. It's a little bit more dramatic. My way is a little bit more slapsticky, comical. Here we go. Nice little shove in there. Now. now, of course, this, I, I took it for granted that if any if Zack Snyder farts in the morning, I get a tweet about it. Right. So I know all about Batman v Superman. I took for granted that not everybody had been up, that Empire had released a whole bunch of screenshots, the magazine, mm -hmm. and one of them was this. Now, this all ties back in, I think the next couple frames are more of this, where, we, remember this scene, where I was, I, originally when this scene debuted, I was like, maybe there's a bizarro Superman, maybe 
Lex has set up this militant organization and they think this, or maybe Clark's finding out about it for the first time. And then toys came out and this, this version of Batman is called Nightmare Batman. And so basically, I can't piece it together yet either. But basically, I assume through Wonder Woman and the Greek gods and whatever her powers are going to be, she or someone related to her is able to give Batman a vision. And Batman gets to see the future that's coming, which is, of course, Darkseid. Darkseid is coming. That's right. why we need the Justice League. So here, of course, the Omega symbol sim- symbolizing uh, Dar- Darkseid. Here, cut into the ground. The, the scorched metropolis or Gotham, whichever one you want it to be. Uh, lava shooting out very like, very much like Apocalypse, right? And then even here, this is, of course, what we saw later on with the Superman army. You have the parademons flying in, Darkseid's bros, Darkseid mm-hmm. br- little guys. Again, how it ties in, I understand if it's Bruce... I don't understand if it's Bruce's worst fears, but then how would he know about Darkseid? I don't understand if it's a premonition, but then I don't understand the Superman army and why Superman would be against Batman. But then we, of course, have been all been reading Injustice, where we know that it could happen. Yeah, that, another one. Question mark. Put it on there. Right. You're editing this, right? I want a question mark right here. I'm not going to do that. Okay, thank you. Parademon's coming through to do that. Superman, angry, getting ready to fight. Again, I'm assu- here's where it gets mixed up, right, of where we are in the timeline anymore. You assume we are in the Batman fight still, or is this the Doomsday fight? The fires are burning out of this control. This is the Doomsday fight. This is the Doomsday you gotta fight. You got to think. Look at how much chaos has been. Uh, right, but if, if Batman sets here. off that big red thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think Batman sets it off. I understand, I, and that's the one thing. I'm just putting it out there as a thing. Think. Batman's we, not the kind of guy to lose, use like a nuclear weapon if he had to. Against the guy he thinks he would take. Could take I mean, this Batman is very. Balls he to is, the wall. He is pretty balls. He's wall. very serious. Look at him run. No human being would to, run like that. <laughs> this is my thing again. Of like, I understand first responders running in there. I don't understand what his motivation to run in there would be unless it's that little girl. Right. So we'll find it out. It has to be. On March 25th. You think it is? I think so. I hope so. Here it is. This great shot. Right. Uh, as I said, my, my only critique here is that I wanted a little grin from Batman to end it there. But if you look at it, his face does react. He's going to say something. He's going to say something. His face does react. He's going to be like, do you bleed? You will bleed. No, he's already said that. You will be. Well, right. you will bleed. Yeah, well, <laughs> That's Yoda. That Star Yoda. Wars movies are dumb. This one's gonna make more money than all the Star Wars put together. I love that look. Like, uh oh, spaghetti. I like Star Wars. Yeah, that's cool. That's a definitely, and that's so that's got to be this. This has got to be the first th- punch he throws after the bomb. Yeah, you know, or after the you know the thing I would caught so, the yeah, gas. You look like we're still in that environment on on top of the rooftop. God, I can't wait for this movie. Well, Greg. Yeah, that was a very concise and quick. <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what you want from me. I'm going to no, come in there and I'm going to give it. you the business. Everybody. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. We, we caught in here. Greg was like, it's going to be 10 minutes max. I did not say got, that. I've only got three things to talk about. No, it's great. It's been great. Thank you so much for your time, Greg. As Thank always, you. it's always nice learning a couple more things that we missed in the trailer. Uh, let us know if we missed anything, though. Greg had a couple questions. If you guys have the answers, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I'm Nick underscore Scarpino on Twitter. This is Game Over Greggy. Please follow both of us and uh, let us know what we got right and what we got wrong. We'll see you next time. And if you're Zack Snyder, I'd like to come to the premiere of this movie. I'll go, I'll fly anywhere in the world. If you're Zack Snyder, you got better things to do than watch anything that these two knuckleheads make.